So in this video, we're going to talk about a linkage isomerism. So it occurs in the complex which have at least one m ligand ligand that can coordinate with. central metal atom or ion though through either of the two donor side so when there are like a uh, two donor side possible then 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 there must be at least one amidentated ligand present obviously inside the complex sphere which make it possible to have uh, the compound with uh, the bonding with the central metal atom so let's if we talk about this um, example chromium here we have no2 and here we have H2O and here we have ammonia 4 then we have a Cl2 so here if you talk about this compound so it has a possible a linkage isomer second it also has the possible of hydrate isomer the possibility also arises of the ionization isomer now linkage isomer as you see as we see NO2 in NO2 it is a bidentate ligand it can also bidonate nitrogen and it could also be donating by oxygen so if you write it at a CR then it is write as a ONO when it is donating side is oxygen then it is H2O and it is ammonia of 4 then it is CL2 now this is the linkage isomer okay this is the linkage isomer now if, if we take a uh, one more example in consideration we have a uh, cobalt and O2 SCN E N two then cyanide then we have cobalt O N O then S C N then again E N O two then is cyanide then again we have a C O N O two N C S then E N R two times cyanide, and we have again cobalt O N O. Then we have N C S. Then E N R two. Then it is cyanide. So these are four different structure. Now we have here two different like bidentate ligand. This is also a bidentate ligand. This is also a bidentate ligand. One time the rotating side is sulfur, another time the rotating side is nitrogen. One time the rotating side is nitrogen, another time the rotating side is oxygen. So we keep that NO2 here, sulfur as donating side. Then change it ONO, then sulfur is donating side. Then, then keep as NO2, nitrogen is donating side. Keep on ONO, then nitrogen is donating side. So how many, so it has actually three possible linkage isomers or we, we may call total how many isomer linkage it has four now for for understanding a little bit more deeper let's took uh, one more example like we are here here we have chromium in chromium it is scn 
then ammonia uh, we have a uh, five and we have uh, the negative coordination sphere is zn uh, cn and four now here cn and nc and uh, the possible linkage is uh, chromium and scn we could replace it as n c s and it is ammonia in a uh, five then it is a uh, zinc c n four and if we take one more example chromium means case n c s ammonia in a uh, five then it is a uh, zinc in n c Four. we have signed then here the position is nc now here also if it is also scn so chromium scn then here we have ammonia 5 so here we have a uh, thing then nc4 now if, if we know that here we have two possibility one is scn one is ncs and here also we have two possibility one is cn and one is nc but here we have total four molecules so all there are a lot of cases like um, one is cn rest are nc so if we to total the all the possible cases so possible linkage isomer how much possible linkage isomer we have of this compound we have nine and if we talk about total how many total will be having over here ten so that's how we deal with the linkage isomerism